Good morning, we're setting up the TV here and we're going to put two Pis, Pi 1 and Pi 2 connected to it. So we've got two HDMI cables, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2, which we've connected in. Here's our two Pis, uh, Pi 1 and in the yellow case the Pi 2. And so this is them split down with the HDMI cables connected in, Pi 1 and Pi 2. These are the Ethernet cables to the internet, so we're going to plug it into the Ethernet ports, Pi 1, Pi 2 and then we are connected to the internet. These are the power cables, we are going to connect those into the two ports and so they are now connected and that gives power um, to each of the... and these are the uh, keyboard and mouse, so we're going to do the Pi 2 first and we're going to connect that in, so those are into the USB ports. This is the power system and this is for the TV and also to power the, H, the power cable. So we're going to go with um, HDMI 2 first, which is the Pi 2, and we plug that in. So we've got no signal, and then we're going to plug in the um, power cable, and you can see the light on on the Pi 2 in the foreground, and it comes up. Unfortunately, there was lack of power on this one, so I had to take out the distribution box, um, and then plug it directly into the power at 1.2 amps. So it opens up with this screen here and we want to go um, with yes um, for the first box for the video and then for the network connect wind we've plugged the ethernet in so we're going to go wired and then we are going to pick up a time zone which for me is in New Zealand, Auckland um, and then we are going to push start. I did say hello, pie, um, hello world pie uh, at the start and when I leaned over and pushed the enter on the key it started so I didn't show you that frame but I had typed it in just to check the keyboard was going and the mouse is going fine. So this is the berry boot and then once the berry boot's open you've got the popular, that's the one we're going to use for the pin one but on other you've got some old versions of the Linux programs and then in the applications you've got some other server stuff which we can get into at another time. Just going down the popular ones, Open Elect is very popular, that goes on first, Ubuntu which has a Chromebook function in it and uh, Puppy which are the lighter versions, I quite like the Puppy one to go on the internet for surfing and Sugar, one laptop per OS um, and now I'm just going to load that now. So here we go um, this down the bottom you've got other versions so I'm just clicking on sugar and this will be the end of the video today just to show you how you put your first operating system on Berryboot thank you very much